hello, where are we going here? Oh god, what are they doing now? Just a broken down car. All of this chaos because of a broken down car. Well, I suppose you've got nothing better to do during coronavirus times. You go out for a broken down car. Look at it. You're stuck in the traffic at King's Hill. There's a broken down car just past Gibson Drive. Police are there and they're only letting one side go at a time. It is chaos. Not that I'll get an answer. Hello Mark. Hello mate, how you doing? Yeah alright, but you must be close. You must be going the other way today. Yeah I am, yeah. I'm just uh, past where the new houses are by the Blue Lake. Roger, Roger. No, you've missed me. I've been down on the mids, um, talking to Grease Monkey. Um, we went to sidebands. Um, yeah, we went to sidebands so we could see if we could get I just lost him down by, um, um, he just got onto the A2 off the M2 down by Canterbury. Oh blimey, that was good. That uh, Grease Monkey, that's the guy you normally chat to, who's normally FM, is it? Yeah, he comes through, uh, well, he's supposed to come through Dover to pick his daughter up um, from, from, from Essex and then on the Friday and then brings it back on the Monday. All oh, right, okay. Ah. Yeah, well, a bit later today there's a uh, broken down car up at King's Hill, so they was only letting one side go at a time, so I've been sat in that for about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah, Dave said you should be both, uh, coming for about three. I just looked at the time and thought, oh, it's quarter past three. And then there you are, amazing. Yeah, Dave's down at uh, Whitstable. Um, so he said he was going to give me a shout when he was going back up the M2. So whether I'll catch him or not, I don't know. Uh, Herm Bay is where he is. Um, and yeah, I, I spoke to him on the way down there. Um, and I've not heard him come back yet. All oh, right, OK. Well, I'll, I'll be up on the M2 soon, so I uh, might even drive past him, give him a wave. Yeah, I would have thought he, he would have called in. Um, it's possible that he might be talking to uh, talking to Grease Monkey somewhere. Um, they quite often copy each other down that end, um, sort of down the Canterbury way when he's been been going down there as well. So uh, yeah, I've I've made a little bit of a faux pas when I said I've nearly watched all of your videos. I haven't nearly watched all of them. There was a lot more than I thought there was. Um, I, I was in the process of watching the the Super 4, uh, Mexicon 4E this morning, uh, the part 2, the second one, um, but I don't think I finished it, I think something must have happened to, uh, to uh, what's the word, uh, distract me. Oh well, well I'm just filming part 3 now, you'll be in it. Very good. Um, I think I got up to the part where you were, were placing the um, the LED um, channel display. Oh right, yeah, yeah, no, that, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not easy to do those, but yeah, I've, I do do it, so, uh, yeah, but you have to be very careful. Yeah, I 
Yeah, I thought I imagined that they would just plug into a board. I didn't uh, imagine, uh, well, I suppose they probably would do nowadays. Um, but obviously, back then, every single wire had got to be soldered on there. So, yeah, a bit tricky. Um, I, I didn't really pay attention too much to the to the capital letters and the uh, small case, etc., etc. If I was going to do one, then I would pay better attention. Yeah, it's, it's only something you need to know if you're going to do one. Yeah, my um, my days of fixing these sort of things are, uh, are, are behind me, I think. I, I'm, I've not got the patience anymore. No, I, 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 so I worked in electronics about 20 odd years ago, and I, I just do it to keep me handy. Yeah, well, yeah. Not only that, gives you something to do, doesn't it? Stops you getting bored. Um, and you can make videos as well. Put them up on the internet. Well, that's it, mate, yeah. And uh, we all need something to do at the moment. Yeah, copy that. Copy that. Um, yeah, and you've got all the gear as well, haven't you? Um, I quite like that little testing uh, thing you've got that you can put the uh, components in and it tells you what they are and stuff. That's quite a nifty little bit of kit. Do you know how much that is? That's about 11 quid off eBay. Uh, no, well, I've never seen anything like that. Um, I'm trying to think back. I'm trying to think back now to when I was at college, but the, um, I'm sure we never had anything like that. I mean, my multimeter's got... Um, uh, I don't even know where it is now. Oh, it's in the hallway. I think it's got a thing for testing capacitors on it, and it's got a thing for testing transistors. Um, but I don't really know how they work either, or what, what happens on the display. But that little gizmo you had looked quite good. Yeah, so it's, um, that's like a new um, Chinese thing. Um, they never had them when I was sort of learning my stuff. We just had like the digital voltmeters like you're on about. It's a fairly new thing out and it just does everything. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I mean, when I saw you plug the thing in, I was like, that's an handy bit of kit. Um, yeah, as I say, I've got these settings on this multimeter I've got, but I've never really used them. Um, I can't even remember how you test a transistor now, you've got to put... I can't even remember, no point in even trying to remember. Yeah, no, just emitter, collector and base, that's all you need to remember. Yeah, I forgot that already. <laughs> I know what you mean, mate, yeah. But, uh, oh, I just pulled up onto the M2 now, it's a gorgeous day out here today. It's quite nice, a little bit chilly, a little bit chilly out there. I cleaned the, uh, like the windows and that on the van earlier and the dashboard over a bit of a clean um, in preparation for uh, going back to work. Um, moved a couple of bits about, had a bit of a tidy up, um, wandered about in the garden a bit. Um, a little bit chilly, um, could do with being a, a few degrees warmer and then I'll be well happy. Alright, you've got a date for when you're starting work again, yeah? Uh, Monday week. Alright, oh, okay, nice one, mate. I know it's probably going to be a shock to the system, but it's getting that sort of bit nearer to normality again, isn't it? Well, we hope so. Um, we hope so. And yeah, it's definitely going to be a shock. There's no, uh, no two ways about that. Now, I got, uh, I got a text message through last night to book me uh, jab, so I've booked both my jabs, so... Uh, Hopefully get them out of the way and then see about getting all of the in. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think they're due to start the, um, well, they're doing the 40s to 50s at the moment, aren't they? Um, so I'm, I'm not, not over keen about having this jab, to be fair, and I know there's quite a few people out there that don't want it, um, you know, for whatever reason. And I suppose it's their prerogative to, um, to want it or not want it, but, yeah, that's just open we do get back to normal, as normal as it can be. Yeah, I, I wasn't too keen on having the jab, um, but I'm think, I've just thought bollocks now, I'm going to go for it, because at the end of the day, you ain't going to be able to travel unless you've had the jab, so they're almost forcing you to have it. Yeah, this is true. Um, yeah, you're going to have to um, produce your little card or whatever, aren't you? But, I mean, how long is that going to go on for, you know? Um, well, we just don't know, do we? Who would have, who would have thought it had come to what it, what it, uh, what it did anyway? Yeah, and uh, just 
wait for the bill to actually pay for it all, because you know who's going to be paying for it, you and me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not looking forward to that either. Um, although it would be nice just to go back and earn some money. That's, uh, yeah, always going to come as a, as a bonus. Yeah, no, I haven't second you with that one, but, uh, yeah, oh well, what will be, will be, but, they, they say, though, all of us having the jab isn't going to prevent a third wave, so I'm not quite sure what's happening here. What was that paid out there? Yeah, I'm talking to him now, uh, Dave. Uh, just coming up to the top of Blue Bell Hill. Just coming up to the top of Blue Bell. You've probably got to wait for him to get on the top, I should think, and then he'll be bringing in. Um, did you copy Chris? Would you know? Well, I started speaking to Mark the same time you started speaking to Chris, I would have thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then Chris called me, I called Mark at uh, Junction 5, and Chris come back and said I can see his name on the winger. It's all, all clever stuff, this radio communication, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit. Yeah, I wonder if Mark can hear me now. Yeah, you give me £9, Dave. Whereabouts are you? Alright, yeah, I've just gone past the slip road where you come on at Bluebell, so I'll probably give you a wave in a minute then. Oh yeah, we should see each other soon then, yeah. Why do you, I, what are you in? You in your van or you in your new motor? I've already been van, that's what I'm on. I'm in the red, uh, red dash here. Okay, well, I'm just coming onto the straight now along by the aerials. Right, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not far from you then. Yeah, I'm literally uh, on the uh, 100 yard mark of the junction 4. Ah, uh, right, okay. Mind you, I've got a central reservation now with loads of trees, so I can't really see across the other side. Alright, I can see the aerials in front of me. Yeah, no, I'm not sure I'm going to see you, Dave, because the trees have grown up. Yeah, I can see the other carriageway where I am at the moment. Okay, you must be further down then. Drive down the wrong side of the road, it'll be fine. I'll go up the old shoulder, no one to see. <laughs> right, a couple of hundred yards in front of me, I've got a yellow truck. Uh, yellow, like a uh, lorry. Uh, and then I've got a white van, and a black van, I think, in front of me. I can see these trees. That's maybe you're both in the wrong one on a different road. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I can't see a yellow lorry anywhere. Yeah. Hi, Dave. This is Steve from Little Elsie. This is Fort Dale. I think you're coming in crystal clear. Hello, Steve. Yeah. Long time no here. How are you doing? Um, well, I'm just going to the trees. They're mobile. Uh, I can't see a yellow truck. I've got to say with a crane on the back. Around the uh, junction 3, junction 4 um, exit. I'm coming down to junction 4 now, Dave. I've written off pasture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I'm coming up on junction 3 now. Right, you quickly. <laughs> oh, well. I'll give you a wave from down here. That's about the best you're going to get. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I actually said to someone the other day that we hadn't, hadn't heard you for a while, so... We'll take it two, three a minute. You've been... Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, James is chatting to uh, someone down at Tunbridge, I think. Yeah, got me. Yeah, got you, Dave. Yeah, James is chatting to someone at Tunbridge, I think, who came on the side. I don't know if you heard him or not. I can hear him, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, you made good time if you was down at Herne Bay to get back now. Yeah, it's been a clear run. Blimey, that was good. Yeah, I got a bit held up at King's Hill. There was a broken down car, so uh, actually that, that helped me out, or I probably missed you. Well, what, please can't 
Has he got his lights on or is he just driving as normal? He's got his blue toes on. Ah well. Nice, but mind you, it's a bit early to get the fish and chips back, isn't it? Just a bit. <laughs> oh god. What are you up to this weekend, mate? You up to match or just a typical Covid weekend? I've got to go to Gillingham, pick up some more per uh, bricks, uh, and then I've got enough to do uh, do my patio up the top. Someone pulled up a block paving patio, but on 23 metres squared of block paving, only been down a couple of years, 10 quid, so I've had a bargain. Wow, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all taken up, I've just had to keep going up there and loading the car up, I've got about three more trips to go, then I've got the lot, it's that like uh, sand buff coloured, and then it's got a load of grey edging bricks. It's going to look good when it's done. Yeah, that's well cheap. That was something good, yeah. Yeah, I'm losing you now, Mark, so uh, yeah, I'll give you the numbers. I'm going to drop down in the chat. Yeah, no worries, Dave. All right, you have a good weekend, mate, and I'll give you a shout next week. Catch you later. We're gone. Yeah, James, then catch you later, Mark. All right, yeah, say 73s to him, yeah? Uh, James, Mark, give you the numbers, yeah? Will you, will you? See you later, James, if you can hear me. Yeah, 